Hello my beautiful people. If you're new, I'm Mika and these are the products that I'll be using today for my relaxed hair wash day. So this is how my hair is looking before I do my shampoo and it is not looking too I bad. I'm still drinking my anti-inflammatory drink. So if you have not yet checked out that video, you can go ahead and see how I regrew my hair. I was experiencing hair loss and I changed my diet. So go ahead and check out that video. There's a playlist in the description below. Tastes good. On my wash day, the first thing I do is to detangle my hair. I use a white tooth comb for detangling. First, I thoroughly wet my hair. For my first two shampoo, I'll be using the Mizani Purifying Shampoo and this is a great shampoo as it is quite moisturizing to the hair. Of course, the first shampoo usually do not lather, but as we go along, the second shampoo will. While shampooing my hair, I ensure that I keep my hair nice and smooth and that I'm using the pads of my finger for manipulating my scalp. And then once I'm done, I thoroughly rinse my hair. For the final shampoo, I'm using the Motion Non-Sulfate Shampoo for the final wash. While rinsing my hair, I ensure that I keep my hair nice and smooth. This will prevent any tangling from happening and make the detangling process after much easier. Once I'm done rinsing my hair, I use a towel to towel blot my hair. And when I'm doing this, I'm just squeezing, I'm not rubbing it onto my hair. This is how my hair is looking after washing it. On this wash day, I'm doing a moisture treatment and I'm using a Mizani Hydrofuse. I'll be adding a few oils. First, I'll be adding the olive oil. Then I'll go in and add the grapeseed oil. And then last but not least, I'll add the avocado oil. And for each, I'm only using one teaspoon. Then I'll mix everything until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm detangling my hair and I'm ensuring that I'm combing from the ends towards the root and the comb that I'm using is a wide tooth comb. I am now sectioning my hair into four for control. And then I'll be adding my moisture treatment to my hair and I'm starting at the back from the roots all the way to the end. Let me know in the comment section which moisture treatment do you use on your hair. I like this moisture treatment because it really had moisture and as it says it's moisture there's no protein in this ingredient list once i apply the moisture treatment to my hair i'll cover with a plastic cap and then i'm going to be sitting under the dryer i will sit under the dryer for 20 minutes once the time is up i finger comb my hair towards the back and I make sure that I cool down before I start rinsing out my hair. Once I've finished rinsing my hair, I'll just squeeze the excess water from my hair and then I'll towel blot. This is how my hair is looking after the treatment. 
To prepare my hair for the roller placement, I will be using the motion leave-in detangler in my hair. Then I'll go in with a Tresemme E protector. And then lastly, I'll add the Nairobi Foaming Wrapped Lotion. A sheet that came in this bag and I just repurpose it and use it to store my rollers. Now I'm just roller setting my hair. This has become very easy for me to do because I've been doing this for a while now. So I do have a video on roller setting so if you would like to check it out and learn how to roller set your hair, I'll leave that video in the description link below for you to watch. Once I finish roller setting my hair, I will sit under the dryer until my hair is dried. Of course, you know under the dryer is no fun. And this is the finished look. It came out nice and bouncy. Let me know in the comment section what your wash day was like and the products that you used. Hope that you enjoyed this relaxed hair wash day as much as I did. And if you did, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.